Hello, hello, Kaylee here from RoboFlow. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to review and interpret the inference examples that are generated within your RoboFlow account. Now, you'll only see this option once you've trained a model. You can train a model once you're done labeling or annotating your images by clicking the button inside RoboFlow to train that model. Training a model simply means that you're teaching the computer how to interpret those images in the real world when you actually deploy your model. Now you can review your inference examples. What this means is that within RoboFlow, we can give you a little sneak peek into how your model will actually perform in the field. When you uploaded your data set, you might have noticed that some of the images were marked as train, and then some of those images were actually marked as test. Those images were held back and the computer was not able to see them or interpret them when it went through the training process. This means that when you review the inference examples, which I'll show you today, um, what you're going to see is actually a little sneak preview of how the model will truly perform because these are images that your model has never seen. So let's go ahead and I'll show you where in RoboFlow to find this option. Now I'm logged into my RoboFlow account and on the left hand side under versions, you can see that I have different versions of models I've trained from the data set. We're going to click on this one called Patty's Day, which I trained on St. Patrick's Day. And on the right hand side, we'll see our RoboFlow train results. This is just a snapshot to show you how the model did. You've got your map, your precision, and your recall. Now, I won't go through those in today's video, but I will link to a blog post in the video description if you'd like to learn a little more about what those metrics mean and how you should interpret them. What we are going to review today are the inference examples. Now, what we're seeing here are 100 total images that will show us how our model is actually going to perform in the real world. I can click on any image to see the kind of expanded view. On the left hand side, we're going to see ground truth, meaning what you or a human annotated in this image. And then model predictions is how, how well your model performed. How many of those helmets or hard hats did it actually detect? Now you'll see that there's a little disparity here. When I click on ground truth, we can see pretty clearly right in the middle of our image, a hard hat that was annotated by the human gaze. And then on the right hand side under model predictions, we can see that our model missed it. Let's move on to another image. Ground truth, we did annotate this hard hat, but the model did not detect it. Now, one thing you might want to do to help improve the accuracy of your model as you go through these inference examples, try to lift any patterns that you see where your model seems to be performing poorly. We call these gaps, knowledge gaps in your model. Now in this particular image, I see that there's a lot of changes in color or hue. There's a lot of brightness. And if we go back one, there's definitely some contrast um, here. So you can add the augmentation steps, brightness, hue, and contrast, which is actually a pre-processing step, meaning it will be applied to all of your images. Um, these steps will help your model to be more resilient to changes in lighting, of course, hue and contrast. Now we have many augmentation steps that you can choose from. So you can start to tie back the performance of your model to the augmentation steps you'd like to add or even remove to help it perform better. All right, I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks for watching and following along. If you have any questions, please reach out to the team. We are always here and happy to help. Thanks.